Uh, it was flown by the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force. It's made a huge impact, um, both when it was uh, operational as a fighter bomber in, in Vietnam, uh, and then also uh, after it was retired in uh, 1996, then the Air Force decided to bring it back as a QF-4. We've been using it uh, as a drone where we can test the next generation of weapons and radars so that uh, our 4th uh, and 5th gen fighters are uh, the best that they can be. Yeah, it's mi mixed emotions when you, when you see them blown for the first time because uh, it's just a great iconic airplane that has done so much for our country and um, it's sad to see it destroyed in that way. The more I thought about it and the more I kind of put things in perspective, um, the fact that the airplane goes down in a blaze of glory versus sitting around uh, at the boneyard at Davis Mountain or in a museum somewhere, I think it's a, it's a truly fitting end for a warrior to go out in that way. The F-4 is a, is a very manual airplane and specifically the QF-4. Uh, a lot of the things that the, the F-4s had when they were operational uh, are not included in the QF-4. So it is a very hands-on type of airplane. Uh, in the same respect, it's a very fun airplane to fly. Uh, it flies very well for the age of the airplane, uh, accelerates very well, uh, does not turn very well, but it never did as far as that goes. Well, I think it's such a popular airplane because uh, first and foremost, there were uh, a lot of them built. There were about 5,200 of them built all in St. Louis. Um, and it, uh, it came about in a, a time that was pretty tough for our country during the Vietnam War. Uh, and it was flown, like I said, by the Navy, the Marine Corps, and the Air Force. So uh, a lot of people have flown on it and worked on it, um, not just in the Air Force, but through uh, all three of the services. So I think that's a big part of it uh, because it's not just an Air Force specific airplane or a Navy specific airplane. Uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big platform that was, um, that was our primary fighter bomber uh, during the Vietnam War. Uh, there's been a lot of really cool opportunities uh, with the F-4 um, since we are the last ones flying it. There's been a lot of opportunities for us to take them on the road and uh, for the public to get a chance to see the F-4s one last time. And um, that's been really interesting and, and really cool for me to get to, to do that. Uh, I expected when we took it on the road that we would uh, meet a lot of people who had worked on them, uh, who had flown them over the years. Um, what I didn't really think about and what I didn't expect was the large number of folks, uh, Army and Marines, that were, uh, that were on the ground uh, in an F-4 saved their life. Uh, just about every place I go, I hear at least one or two stories uh, of someone who is pinned down, uh, they didn't know if they were going to make it out, and an F-4 came in um, and saved their life. And that's been, uh, that's been a truly humbling experience for me to, to hear those stories and hear what an impact that the, this airplane has made on them. Yeah, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet, much like when you see a QF-4 get blown out of the sky. Um, it's sad um, that the F-4 is coming to an end, but, um, but it's exciting because now we can bring on the QF-16, which provides uh, more realistic capabilities for the threats that we're facing out there, and we can, uh, we can test those weapons and those radars uh, more realistically with the F-16. So it's exciting to see that uh, come online. Uh, as an F-16 driver, it's uh, kind of bittersweet again to see those get blown out of the sky, but I kind of have the same perspective uh, on that as I did with the, the QF-4. The F-4s are old. They're old and they're getting tired. Uh, most of ours are about 45 years old or so, and it's, it's getting more and more difficult to, uh, uh, to keep them flying, to keep, the, keep them maintained and keep them in an airworthy condition. So um, it's time. It's time for them to, uh, to move on and uh, make way for the next airplane. Well, I, I think I think if I were if I were talking to an F4, uh, I think uh, I think the main thing I'd leave it with is you've served your country well.